Right. Monkey you know? see, monkey do. Right. Yeah. Your Tesla's not a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really bad. Yeah. Be really, really bad. So mm-hmm. I, I think it was a combination of stuff, and it basically would respond like a human. You see a cop. You see a car going through a, a stoplight. Mm-hmm. You see a cop over there motioning like right. this. Right. You go through. Impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. So all that yeah. testing we did, the car basically outsmarted us. That's, yeah. That's, that's that's the bottom line. That's the bottom. That's line. the bottom line. And you know, good job, Tesla. We you know we made you guys watch all that for nothing. Sorry. <laughs> no, not for nothing. We actually proved it at the end of the day. We did prove it. That's true. That's true. So, we're, 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 you know, I'm a big enough man to say, hey, I was wrong about certain things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, when you get new data, you got to you gotta update the news. It's yeah. just that simple. Yeah. And so we're happy to see that it's actually recognizing gestures. It's recognizing. You see, here's, here's the issue, right? I don't want to say it's recognizing gestures. I think that's the wrong term here. And I think that's where everything's getting kind of convoluted. Mm-hmm. It's recognizing contextual clues. Mm-hmm. That's what it's actually going on. Because I think we've pretty much well debunked the fact that it's just a gesture. Right. It's not just a gesture. Right. Because if it had been just that, it would have responded to you right. gesturing to the car. No, context is required. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what's missing in some of the descriptions that Tesla puts out about the update. So you have to have the car in a certain situation, mm-hmm. not just gestures. Yeah, it's situational. It is very situational. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. recognizes whole situations, which is actually really impressive. 